BanjoBenClark.com. I am Banjo Ben, your host here on the website that teaches you banjo, guitar. This week is Manlin Week. We're doing the follow-up lesson for O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Last week we covered the guitar fingerstyle solo. This week is the mandolin solo. The cool thing about this is if you don't have a guitar player to play this with, I hope you do, but if you don't, the solo can stand alone so that you can learn it just by yourself and be ready for the season. If you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube here in a moment, I'll ask you to come over to the website, BanjoBenClark.com. You can join as a GoPick member, have access to this lesson, hundreds of others. This is about a 20-minute lesson uh, where we talk about playing the solo and also learn how to play that backup very tastefully. And then also I have tabs and MP3 rhythm tracks. If you don't have a guitar player, that's cool because you can download the MP3 of my guitar and you can play the duet along with yours truly. That'll be fun, huh? So Merry Christmas to y'all. Let's jump right into the first, uh, or actually into the mandolin solo for O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Let's learn a mandolin solo for O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. We're going to do this one in the key of E minor. And as you heard, this is a uh, duet that I built uh, between mandolin and fingerstyle guitar, but I made this mandolin solo so that it would stand alone if you were playing it solo without a guitar partner. It's really pretty. Uh, we're actually going to start by learning that solo, and then later on we'll go back and learn the backup, uh, what you would play if you did have a guitar playing that solo, which I encourage you to do. Grab a buddy and learn this one. Now let's go ahead and throw up this line of tab. A few things I want to point out here. Again, we're starting here at the end of measure 22. That's the solo. We'll go back and learn the, the backup part later. But you'll notice those little boxes around each one of the notes. Those are the melody notes, the very basic melody, and I point those out because you may just want to start off by just learning that, especially if you're more of a beginning player. You can play just the notes that are in those boxes and get the melody for O Come, O Come, Emmanuel in E minor. But the other reason why I do it is so that we can concentrate on bringing those notes out as we play this solo. So we'll have other harmony notes and uh, other licks around those melody notes, but we want to bring that melody out, okay? Now you'll also notice I have no pick direction arrows beneath the notes, and that's because we're going so slow, you could do whatever pick direction you want. You could actually play the whole thing with only downstrokes except when we get to the tremolo, which we'll talk about there. Okay, so I'll throw an upstroke in every once in a while, but I'm not going to be adamant that you must do it as well. Now we're gonna start on the last beat of measure 22. We're in four, four time. So that would be the fourth beat. There's a little pickup melody note on the second fret. And then we come into measure 23 and the basic melody just does this. One, two, three, four, one, two. Oh, come, oh, come, oh. So 
the only thing that we're going to add to that basic melody is uh, halfway through measure three, we change from an E minor chord to a G chord, and I want to establish that chord change by driving down through these open strings, the G and D string, and landing on that melody note. This is especially helpful if you're playing this by yourself because it establishes what your backup chord is. And you'll see that little B with the arrow pointed up. That just means that we're going to brush through these notes. And this brush may take a little practice, but we don't want to go too fast. We don't want to go too slow. So too fast would be more like a chop or a strum. We're not strumming. Too slow, you would separate out those notes. So we want to come through about that speed and we want to try to make that melody note maybe a little louder. Take a little practice. Again, we're going to brush at the first beat of measure 24, except this time we have a chord change and I'm going to establish that. So we're going to bar the G and the D string on the second fret and I'm going to do it with one finger, with my index finger. It's kind of a tough bar. It's going to be tough if you try to do it straight up and down, but I'm going to point it back towards my right shoulder and get those notes, but then not be careful not to muffle the A string because you need to get it all. Now, if that's too hard, you could do two fingers here. But then you'll have to move quick to jump to this third fret. Let's just look at what the melody is doing. One, two, three, four. That's the basic melody. But we're going to throw some other notes in there. So on the end of two, we're going to throw a fifth fret, come down to the melody note on the third beat, and then we have this really cool hammer-on pull-off triplet that we're going to do several times in different places. So we're going to play on the end of three, that second fret, hammer on to the third fret and then pull back off to the second. So it sounds like this. We only pick it once, but we get three different notes. One, two, three. And we're forcing those 16th notes into where only two 16th notes would go. So measure 24 sounds like this. One and two and three, triple it four and. So let's play here starting at the end of measure 22 through measure 24 and I'll play it much slower later on. One, two, three, four. Cool. Now when we get to 25, we're going to see our first tremolo. And so I'm, there's that big melody note. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay on that note and try to tremolo it as cleanly as I can. And I want to try to do it kind of with a little bit of rotation in my wrist. And you don't have to tremolo it for the full three beats. Uh, that's the way it's notated on the tab. But you don't have to do that. But we're going to, on the last beat of this measure, we're just going to play an open A string. That's what the melody does. So one, two, three. I'll have a tendency to kind of stop on the downbeat of three, maybe give the and of three a little rest. But the other thing that I want to point out just stylistically is that you can uh, differ and you can uh, modulate the speed of your tremolo to give it more expression. So you might start out really slow and then speed up and then come back off of it. I think that sounds really nice coming out of that last measure. Something like that. Or you can keep it steady. But even if you did it slow, it's going to sound good. Or you can go as fast as you want. Measure 26, the melody goes bum, 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 bum. But we're going to add some backing notes to establish those chords. So strum down through. One, two. Then really quickly, we're going to do a C double stop, five, two. That A minor brush again. And then again, we have that little hammer-on pull-off thing, but on a string higher. And then measure 28, you see that little squiggly out beside the number two? That means we're going to trim low. One, two, three, four. I'll play 25 through 28. One, two, three, I'm, like I said, I'm, count, I'm pulling off that tremolo on the downbeat of three. You can carry it all the way up to that fourth beat if you want. Measure 29.